The music of the Middle East has a long tradition going back many centuries. It has had a strong influence on other kinds of music and on many composers, such as Rimsky-Korsakov, Khachaturian, and even Mozart and Beethoven. When we speak of the Middle East, we mean those countries surrounding the eastern end of the Mediterranean Sea. In ancient times, each of these countries had its own type of music. In the 7th century, a new religion, the Mohammedan religion, came into being. And the followers of Muhammad spread from Arabia and conquered all of this area right across North Africa on up into Spain. From Arabia, the followers of Muhammad also moved north and after many centuries reached the part of Europe known today as the Balkans. These conquerors carried the music of each of the conquered countries with them. And eventually, certain elements of each country's music came to be shared by all the people of this region. Today, as you hear the music of some of these peoples and see their instruments being played, you will discover how closely all of their music is related. An important musical instrument throughout the Middle East is the oud. The oud belongs to the lute family of instruments and is played with a feather from an eagle. On the oud, it is possible to play notes that are very close together. It is also possible to slide from one note to another. Notice how elaborately the notes in the melody you just heard were ornamented. Because the oud can do all these things, it has had a strong influence on the melodies of the countries in which it is used. Along with the melody, another important element in the music of the Middle East is rhythm. A popular rhythm instrument is the derbaki. A derdaki is a small drum made out of fire-hardened clay, much as a ceramic vase or pot is made. It has a single drum head made out of goat skin. The derdaki can make a variety of sounds. The derbaki provides an exciting rhythmic accompaniment for the oud. You will notice that this piece has essentially two elements, rhythm and melody. There is not as much harmony or chords as there is in the music that you are used to hearing. This is true of much Middle Eastern music.
Along with percussion instruments such as the derbaki and lute-like instruments such as the oud, another important group of instruments in the Middle East is the zither family. These instruments lie flat and have many strings. One such instrument is the santur. The santur is played by two wooden mallets. distinct types of music in the Middle East. The classical music which is associated with nobility and large cities and folk music which is associated with common people and small villages. Let us listen to an example of classical or court music, a Persian song accompanied by the santur. No, I Let us now listen to a folk song from Persia or Iran as it is now known. The song is Masom Masom and it's about a young man who wants to pluck a beautiful flower for his girl but can't because it has thorns. I would like to sing a song from my land, Armenia, which is now a part of the Soviet Republic. Accompanying me is the Kanon, which looks very much like the Santur and also belongs to the Zither family. The song that I will sing is about a man unable to return to his home in Armenia and hopes that even the birds might bring him news of his loved ones.
in many ways the music of the Middle East is extremely sophisticated. The melodic lines are elaborate and full of ornamentation. The rhythms are more varied than those you hear in most of your music. Instead of having a piece that goes in a steady one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, a Middle Eastern composition may have a rhythm like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Middle Eastern music often has nine beats in a measure, or five, or seven, or ten, or even eleven. These kinds of rhythms are often used with dancing. Let's watch a zaybak, a type of dance from Turkey, that shows the actions of a warrior in battle. Accompanying will be the oud, the kanon, and the dumbak, a type of drum. Listen and see if you can hear the nine-beat rhythm. the Balkans are considered as part of Europe, they were at one time conquered by the Turks and were occupied for over four centuries. Therefore, much of the music of the Balkans is closely related to the music of Turkey and the rest of the Middle East. Today we find that Balkan music, especially the music of Greece, is becoming very popular in the rest of the world. One instrument that is used throughout the Balkans is the cymbalum. Like the Santur and the Kanun, it is a member of the Zitha family, but it is larger and can play more notes. <laughs> watch an exciting Greek dance called the Tsamiko. In this dance we will hear many of the instruments we have learned about. The oud, a member of the lute family, the cymbalum, and the kanon, members of the zither family, and a drum called the dumbek. 
You will notice that these instruments are used throughout the Middle East and the Balkans and show how closely related the instruments and the music are in this area. Thank <laughs> you. 